Yeah, um, I was just as surprised, if not more surprised, with those type of mistakes. Uh, for starters, my, my fumble at the end of the half, I think that was a, a big moment for our team, and those type of mistakes can't happen. <clears throat> yeah. What happened on that play specifically? Yeah, I was stepping up in the pocket and looking to possibly make a move and getting tackled to the ground and I believe, I need to go back and watch the film, but I believe I had one hand on the ball and the uh, guy smacked my arm and the ball fell out. Definitely, um, and that's on the leaders of this football team. Uh, this is the first game of the year, and yes, it was a tough loss, and, and it was a bit of the same old story for this program that we need to get fixed, but it will not deter us. It will not discourage us. Um, I can tell you that as an individual and as a team. We know that what we're capable of. Uh, we just need to go show it on the field and uh, play up to our potential. Yeah, well, no disrespect, but if I, I had that answer, it wouldn't have happened today. I think it's, it's just a matter of uh, continuing to, to get better, you know? Understanding what, what those mistakes are and understanding that they're hurting this football team and, and we have to get better. No, no. And uh, that is something that is not the same old story. Our, our guys had faith. Um, we wanted to get that ball back and score. I know the defense was fighting their tails off for us. And uh, in my mind, the whole time, I thought we were going to win. And look in the eyes of the other guys in our team, and we had that same belief. Uh, what is the same old story is the turnover, is penalties, you know, little mistakes that in Big Ten football you, you just can't make. Yeah, it's, it's very frustrating, but luckily this isn't a one-game season. So this team still has a lot to prove. Um, backs against the wall, and uh, we know some of those mistakes, and we know we have to get them corrected. We spent a lot of time on them this offseason, and that work will pay off. Hey, Jim, how about the goal line there? Uh, there was a kind of a late first down signal, and you guys sneaked it. What happened there? Was, you guys think it was fourth and one? Was that the last touchdown drive there? You yeah. What, 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 what actually happened uh, after the QB sneak? Well, well yeah, kind of before that, did you guys think that that was still fourth, that it was fourth down or they didn't tell you it was the first down? Uh, in all honesty, I, I can't recall that. So. Hey, you guys wanted, I think, step to down to the game pretty early. You're trying to get the game a lot. What did you see happening out there and how frustrating was it to not be able to get those backs Yeah, um, that's something that we're definitely going to have to get going uh, as this season progresses. and. You know, we weren't 100% sure what Illinois was going to show up in, and that's not an excuse. That's just the reality. So we have to find a way to establish that, and, and we didn't really do that early in the game. Did you feel like you got the rhythm right away, or did it feel like the second half was more than the quarterback mm. um, I feel like I had moments, and I need to be a hell of a lot better. There were at times that I was in rhythm, and at times that I, I think I wasn't, and I think that's was spread out throughout the game. All right, thanks, Adrian.